they never ran a company, you know, they're not investors, they don't generate cash flow, they earn an income that's taxed at the highest tax bracket, and they learn their, they know their few deductions they get, they pay a 40% total tax, and they go on their merry way. That's why no matter how much money they make, they're always fucked, because as soon as they make more money, they go out and buy a nicer house, a, a bigger car, a nicer house, right? A bigger house, a more expensive car, fancy jewelry, more expensive clothes, finding, whining and dining themselves at fancy restaurants that they never did. So they can generate more money via, via a raise or working more hours, but they're getting deeper, deeper in debt and farther and farther behind where they need to be because they don't have an education on money. But what the fuck are you talking about again, Vincenzo? You're rambling on like a lunatic. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. And it's not getting my house back. It's down in rubble because it got burnt down Waco style. I need some goddamn real information, Vincenzo. Not none of this malarkey about the rich and the way money works for you and all this fucking nonsense. How do I get out from under my house? Well, my good man, I've been trying to educate you on this. But you need to buy cash generating assets, right? And if you want to get simple and easy education on this, this is the easiest way I can do this for you. Is you watch these, you listen to these audio books, and you'll have a basic understanding and a whole new world on how to generate cash flow, make money working for you, and uh, having a higher standard of life based on a higher education about money. Right? It all falls in the line as soon as the light switch is slipped on switched on and this information that's been kept from you is given to you right the easiest books rich dad poor dad start with that it's a three and a half hour audio book listen to it or buy it and read it i like listening to it because it kills time at work and the car etc then the next book down the line book two learn the difference between oh it's not really a book it's his lecture no it's a book learn the difference between real and fake money right and then his third and final book, it's very long. It's a three part, it's like 14 hours. Uh, fake money, fake teachers, and fake assets, right? After you listen to all three of those, you will have a basic understanding on how the rich people think, the tax system, and how it's set up uh, for a certain way to spend and earn money to benefit you the most, where you pay virtually no taxes and have a steady, uh, cash flow being generated that pays your day-to-day -day and monthly expenses and then you have extra money that's just being sent or mailed to you or given to you in dividends and interest or rent payments or whatever that you live off of and you acquire more assets with that money and as you acquire more assets and dividends are being paid and rent uh, your assets grow which now your dividends and interest are being higher and higher because your cash account is higher so it just feed, it's a self-feeding machine, but you have to first start thinking, living, and acting, and spending like the rich. The rich didn't get rich by getting a job. The rich got rich by starting a business, or if they had a normal income-generating job, they took that income and invested nearly all of it. Just uh, all the money they possibly could without with, with virtually no money left besides food money, right, gas, and basic necessities. They lived in shitholes. They drove shithole cars. They wore shitty clothes. They lived like homeless people while they were building and investing until their cash flow from their investments. After years, sometimes 10, 15 years of investing into what they're investing in, and they finally would meet their goal of their cash flow generated from their assets and their balance sheet was enough to offset their monthly expenses. And then they not only had enough to pay off their monthly expenses, they had enough uh, extra money to start buying these luxury items that they wanted, but could not at the time pay for. So they had to figure out a way to generate more cash flow uh, and increase it in order to pay off these luxury items that they desired and seeked out and wanted, right? But they did that after the cash flow was generated to pay for these assets or to pay for these liabilities and luxury items. They, you know, the business paid for it. The money each month being sent in by renters and clients and dividend payments that the businesses they own um, paid for it. That's what the rich do. That's what you all need to start doing. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace and love. Peace and love. Ah, you want to be a wise guy?
guy say? You say you have a guy say? Yes, I know a guy say. Phil. Phil. Yeah, I have that guy. You see a guy. I know a guy that has a guy. Yeah, Phil, you need a financial advisor. I am not a financial advisor. Only entertainment.